Someone's in the kitchen with Carl. He's the chief scientist here at the Imagination Station, and it's time to imagine it with him. What do you got cooking, Carl? Hot chocolate. Oh. We're going to look at science in a cup of hot chocolate. Oh, great. Right, so I'm going to give you some hot chocolate. Give you a little, grab yeah. a spoon there. All right. Uh, I want you to mix this up really nicely. I'm digging this one. Don't, don't worry about making a mess. Stir it okay. up really oh, quick. Get it right, going. All right. Um, and you I, may, yeah, just, I go, I go reverse, you yeah, know, I got a like technique. You said make a mess. It's fine. It's okay. Okay. That's perfect. All right. Now go ahead and hold it by the handle there. All right. We'll get rid of this. And hold it up a little bit higher. We're going to send some sound waves to the cup. You hear the sound? Yeah. Okay. This is something you can try at home, but check this out. Well, it just what? got higher. The pitch is going up. Now, I'm not sure how compelling of a TV segment this is because we could, we could stay <laughs> he here says for that now. we could we could stay here for quite a while. We're already on TV. <laughs> oh right. Um, listen, to that. it's getting higher and higher and higher and higher. It's called the hot chocolate of hot <laughs> chocolate effect. For real. Okay. So we're gonna now in a mug. You wow. can't see what's going on, and yeah. it, it'll keep going. So instead of using hot chocolate, you can actually do this with just hot water from your tap. Okay. So check out back here. I'm going to get some hot water going, but I'm going to get it to the point where, you've probably seen this, when it comes out the tap, it looks all sort of foggy. Mm -hmm. And that's because I've constricted the flow with the, the handle a little bit, and there's dissolved air inside hot water. All right, once I get it filled up here, we're going to do something really cool. So what we have is a container filled with tiny bubbles. Go ahead and hold that for me. Yeah, people don't want to drink it. They're like, oh, yeah. look, it's no, all cloudy. But I'm going to tap the bottom. OK. So, OK. So we have a mixture of bubbly air, and uh, bubbly water, and just water at the bottom. And as the bubbles begin to move up, you get a really clear demarcation where it's just water down there with no bubbles. Now, the tone we're getting is generated by the medium and the length of this column and the speed of sound in the material. Turns out the speed of sound in water is four times faster than the speed of sound in air. So as that column of pure water begins to form, we're hearing more and more of the higher pitch created because of the speed of sound is higher in the water. And it just keeps going. I, this is so, I just, I just find this so amazing. <laughs> this is what is a good one. <laughs> this, this gets me excited because you can do this at home. It won't work with cold water because cold water doesn't have a lot of dissolved uh, oxygen in it. And we're almost probably to the point where it's gonna stop. Gotcha. So essentially, it's not because of the heat. It's because the air is moving out. The air is moving up, and the speed of sound is different in air and water. And when you have all the bubbles dispersed, it's mostly air. As those float away, it becomes mostly water, and you get a different pitch. You could even do it, I don't recommend it, but you could do it with a beer gla uh, a glass of beer well, by sprinkling a little salt in. Have you ever done that? No. It makes a big mess. Oh, well, but if you yeah. scoop off the head that <laughs> forms after that, you can do that same sort of thing by tapping on the bottom. OK. And it'll keep going. Even the hot chocolate. What it did was created, the powder created tiny little nucleation sites where the dissolved air can come out. Remember the Mentos and Cola experiment we've done in the past? Oh, yes. Same sort of thing. It's causing bubbles to come out of solution, and it's making that mixture just like we saw with the hot water. Wow. So cool thing you can do right at the tap. That is. You can do it right here. You can learn about it here at the Imagination Station. You can take that one home with you and do it at home. But if you want to come on down today, they are open on Saturdays. And if you're a kid who lives in Lucas County and you bring along an adult with you, you get in free with a paid adult admission. Yeah. And the second time we do it, it goes a lot faster because we knocked a lot of the dissolved air out of the hot chocolate. And that's how you <laughs> imagine it. <laughs> <laughs>